In this video, we're going to talk about how to use the simple interest formula to solve word problems. So let's start with this problem. John invests 5000 in a savings account at an annual interest rate of 7% for five years. How much money did he earn in interest? So what's the total interest that he received in the course of these five years? So the equation that we're going to use is the simple interest formula. I is equal to PRT, where I is the total interest received, which is what we're looking for. P is the principal, that's how much money he invests in the account, which was 5000 R is the annual interest rate, which is 7%, but in a form of a decimal. The decimal form of 7% is 7 divided by 100, which turns out to be 0 0.07. And t is the time in years. So t is 5 years. So all we got to do is take 5,000, multiply by 0 0.07 times 5. So he receives a total of 1,750 in simple interest. Now part b. What is the total value of his savings account at this point? So keep in mind, he initially put in 5000 and his account was credited with 1750 in interest. So his total account value at this point is $6,000 and 7 excuse me, $6,750. So that's how much money he has in the account at the end of 5 years using the simple interest formula. So this is the answer for part B and this is the answer for part A. Number two, Sally invests 8,000 into an account paying an annual interest rate of 8.7%. How many years will it take for her to earn $4,872 in interest? The equation that we need to use, once again, is I is equal to PRT. So the interest that she earned in these years are four thousand eight hundred and seventy two dollars the principal the amount that she puts in the account is eight thousand dollars that's P R is the interest rate so if we take eight point seven and divide it by a hundred R is point zero eight seven that's the decimal equivalent of eight point seven percent our goal is to find T we need to find the value of T in this problem because we're looking for how many years it's going to take her to earn this level of interest. So the first thing we need to do is multiply 8,000 by 0 0.087, which is 696. Now the next thing we need to do is divide both sides by 696. So 4,872 divided by 696 is 7. So therefore, it's going to take her seven years to earn $4,872 in interest if she invests $8,000 into an account paying an annual interest rate of 8.7%. Number three, Mary invests $3,000 into a savings account. In four years, she earns a total of $768 in interest. What is the annual interest rate offered by this account? So we're going to use the same formula. Now, in this problem, what's I, what's P, what's R, and what's T? The 3000 is the amount of money she puts into the savings account. So that is the principal. The $768 is the interest, so we can replace I with that number. Now, we're looking for the annual interest rate, so we need to find the value of R. T is 4. So first, let's multiply 3,000 by 4. That's going to be about 12,000. Now the next thing that we need to do is divide both sides by 12,000 to isolate R. So R is going to be 12,000. I mean, it's going to be 768 divided by 12,000. So as a decimal, that's 
zero six four. To convert this into a percentage, multiply by a hundred. So the interest rate is about six point four percent. So that is the annual interest rate offered by this account. Number four. James invests twenty five thousand into an account paying eight percent annual interest. How many years will it take for his account to reach forty three thousand? So the principal is twenty five thousand. And interest is going to be added to that principal over time, and his final account value is going to be forty three thousand dollars after a certain time period has elapsed. So the interest that he receives during that time is the difference between forty three thousand and twenty five thousand. So if we subtract those two numbers, you should get eighteen thousand. So that's how much money he's receiving in interest in this time period. And we got to find out what that time period is. So our goal is to find T. How many years will it take for his account to reach that level? So using this formula, I is equal to PRT. We have the interest earned, which is 18000 starting with a principal of 25000 The annual interest rate is 8%. 8 divided by 100 is 0.08. So our goal is to find the value of t. So first, let's multiply 25,000 by 0 0.08. So you should get 2,000. And now let's divide both sides by 2,000. So 18,000 divided by 2,000, we can cancel the three zeros. So it's equivalent to 18 divided by 2, which is 9. So it's going to take 9 years for his account to go from 25000 to 43000 if he's receiving an 8% annual interest rate. So it takes 9 years to earn 18000 in total interest. So that's it for this video. So now you know how to use the simple interest formula uh, to solve problems like this. Now I want to show you one of my algebra courses that might be useful to you if you ever need it. So go to udemy.com. Now in the search box, just type in algebra and it should come up. So it's the one with the image with the black background. So if you select that option, and if you decide to go to course content, you can see what's in uh, this particular course. So the first section, basic arithmetic, for those of you who want to focus on addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And it has a, a video quiz at the end. It's a multiple choice video quiz. You can pause it, work on the problems, and see the solutions. It covers long division, multiplying two large numbers, and things like that. The next tutorial is on fractions, adding, subtracting fractions, multiplying, dividing fractions, converting fractions into decimals, and so forth. So you can also take a look at that. Next, solve the linear equations, which we covered, and just more examples if you need more help with that. The next topic, order of operations, which is also useful, uh, graphing linear equations. You need to know how to calculate the slope. You need to be familiar with the slope intercept form, standard form, and just how to tell if lines are parallel, perpendicular, and so forth. And there's a quiz that uh, goes with that as well. The next topic is on inequalities and absolute value expressions, which are also seen in a typical algebra course. And then we have polynomials, and that's a, a long section. And then factoring, you just that's another topic you need to master. And then system of equations. You can solve it by elimination, substitution. There's also word problems as well. Sometimes you got to solve equations with three variables, x, y, and z. So that could be helpful. Next, quadratic equations, how to use a quadratic formula, how to graph them, how to convert between standard and vertex form. And then you have rational expressions and radical expressions, solving radical equations, simplifying it, things like that. And every section has a quiz. 
So you can always review what you've learned if you have a test the next day. So here we have complex imaginary numbers. You need to know how to simplify those. Exponential, functions, logs. I have a lot of videos on logs. And then this is just functions in general. The vertical line tests, horizontal line tests, how to tell if a function is even or odd. And then conic sections. Graph in circles, hyperbolas, ellipses, parabolas, and things like that. There's two video quizzes because it's actually a long section. And finally, arithmetic and geometric sequences and series. So that's my algebra course if you want to take a look at it. And uh, let me know what you think.